Hey everybody, Jay here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we have an actual an outdoor boiler video for you, back by popular demand. Uh, obviously it's summertime, it is almost August. We are not actively burning, but in today's video I'm gonna go over a summer maintenance trick that will help prolong the life of your outdoor boiler. So yeah, without further ado, let's roll the intro. like that intro i invite you to subscribe to the channel we do a ton of stuff here on the homestead but anyways behind me is my central boiler cl 604a for those of you who are just joining us this is our unit this is an outdoor wood boiler basically you get a fire going inside heats up hot water pumps it into the house and there you go that's you. your uh, pretty much your one heat source for the winter time uh, in today's video we're going to talk about a summer maintenance trick and that is uh, moving circulating the water now obviously many as you may know uh, standing water stagnant water and you you know any water that's sitting anywhere that's not circulating can obviously cause mold and cause issues the water inside this unit is treated but it is a good maintenance trick to circulate that water at least probably once a month. I do it once a month over the summertime. I haven't filmed it and I just said, hey Jay, uh, duh, that would be such a nice, quick, easy video for people to do. So you need to circulate your water. It's, it may vary from machine to machine, manufacturer to manufacturer, whatever. This is what I do. If you don't wanna do it, great, doesn't matter to me. But anyways, let's show you on the unit how we can actually circulate the water without actually turning the unit on. So yeah, let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, so on my unit here, we have this side access panel. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna open this panel here, and this is all of our pumps. So as you can see here, our circulator pump is actually turned off. So what we wanna do is, you wanna make sure your valves are open. This valve is open, this valve is open. Uh, inside, let's go check to make sure everything is hunky-dory, and then I'll show you what to do back out here, because this is, this is your main pump that circulates all your water, so this is where you're gonna start. So. Let's go ahead and bring you guys in the basement real quick, show you the situation and make sure we're good to roll. Okay, for those of you who are maybe just joining us, this is the PEX that comes in from the outdoor boiler. It's buried under the frost line and insulated, uh, insulated tubing. As you can see, it says supply return here. What happens is it comes in through the wall. As you can see, we're about four or five feet down from the frost line. The um, pipes go up over this wall here into our heating system here now i apologize the lighting is not the best let me see if my flashlight will help uh, anyways what we have here the pipes come down they run through our plate style heat exchanger now obviously our heat exchanger pump is off and these valves are off as well so right now uh, any hot water need is um, running off our oil and I just put that basket there uh, I don't leave that basket there so uh, I know that's not safe but anyways what we're gonna do is this is all isolated we want to make sure it stays isolated because we don't want to reintroduce we don't want the system to think that we're trying to heat with wood so we're gonna leave everything the way it is pretty much the water is gonna come in through the supply just run through the heat exchanger and back out to the unit, but we're not pulling any of that heat. I mean, there is no heat because we're not actively heating the water. We're just circulating it. So um, yeah, let's go back out to the unit. So you just want to make sure that you're not trying to, the system's not trying to think you're trying to fire up your boiler. So make sure you just literally, you're just moving water. You're not got any pumps. You got you don't have any blowers on. You don't have any type, you know, you're not trying to run the unit as if we were actively heating with wood. So make sure you isolate it. You keep it isolated like my system is now. So let's go back out to the boiler. All right, so here we go. We're back out at the machine. What you want to do is, again, make sure all your valves are open, which they are. Valves open, open. There's three valves here. These are shot offs if you were to change your pump out. But pretty much, if you listen, we still have the unit off. We're running an extension cord out to our pump. 
So we're not actually turning the breaker on to the unit here because we don't want to open the damper and we don't want to try we, I don't want to open the damper because that will pull in you know moisture and humidity and we don't want that. We have the inside all sealed and oiled. We shut the door and we leave it. So all I'm going to do here is just plug our pump in. And I can hear it. I don't know if you picked it up on camera, but I can hear this unit and I can feel obviously vibrations in the pipe now but we are actively moving water now so let's go ahead and wrap up all right everybody so let's wrap up here that's pretty much it all you want to do is you want to plug your pump in just your pump you don't want to have any blowers going you don't want to have any dampers opening and closing we're pretty much just running this pump as is the loop is open so we're just circling uh, circulating the water but we're not obviously pulling any heat from uh the heat exchanger because we're not actively burning so jay why do you want to do this well it's important to do this because a uh it's good to move the water around you don't want stat you don't want 300 gallons of stagnant water sitting in there so that's the uh, reason number one reason number two you want to move your water around is um you don't want to plug this in the day before um it's 29 degrees out overnight and realize you're either your pump shorted or you have a leak or something's wrong so p doing this at least once a month We'll make sure that your pump, I mean, these pumps have, this pump's gotta have thousands of hours on it. You know, this, this machine was put in in 2008 and I'm pretty sure this is the original pump. So as far as wear and tear, you're not gonna really put excess miles on your pump. But anyways, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. A, you wanna move water around because water gets stagnant and B, it's a good kind of check to make sure nothing's leaking, no fittings are leaking or you haven't developed an issue with your pump. These units are outside so you never know. You could open this door at end of October and mice could have chewed the wires on the pump. You never know. So it's good to keep up on it. Um, this machine runs our whole house during the winter time so it's important for me to make sure that this is ship shape ready to go. I fired this thing up last minute. Um, I wait literally until I mean it could be 40 degrees out and we'll have other we have a propane fireplace and we have the oil backup so i will start this machine up very last minute so it's important to make sure that everything works what i'll do too is i'll leave this door open with the extension cord and i'll run this or like i said i'll run this for 24 hours so you just want to circulate your water maybe a day or two it doesn't take long i mean in an hour this will probably move all that water but it's good to just move it around i'll unplug this tomorrow and then we'll be good so yeah anyways i'm gonna wrap up thank you guys for watching let me know what you think uh yeah even though we're not actively heating with wood it's still there's still something to do with this machine just to keep things uh keep things loose keep things fresh so it's good to move around you got 300 gallons of water sitting in there so it's not bad to move it around so anyways i'm jay thanks for watching guys let me know what you think and yeah like i always say we will see you out in the woods